I made this prop for a lady. You can see it's broken here. It was super thin. So I'm going to fix this now. And the way we do that is turn some of the Blanc Rosé into a more liquidy like substance by adding oil, which I have done. And I think I've showed this to you guys before. I want it to be a little bit more fluid, so I'm going to add a bit more oil. Just keep mixing until you've got the consistency you want. Um, the reason I'm using the Blanc Rose and not the polymer is because I want it to one be the same colour, but also the polymer is quite a nice thin substance. I want this to be a little bit thicker. So what I'm also going to go and do is grab some cream. Here's our cream, here's our catalyst. We're going to add the catalyst a few drops. Add some cream to the top of my hand because this bit we have to work fairly quickly for. So now we're going to mix the catalyst in nicely. Like so. And then you will feel it start to harden. And it's starting to do just that. So moving fairly quickly, I'm going to hold this down in position like that and splodge that on that side. Oh, and that side. And now with the cream. I'm going to massage it together. And don't forget you can always trim it so it's a much nicer finish. Get some more cream. The cream just basically stops it sticking to your hand. Let's see if I can get some more of this out or if it's too late. Hopefully not. I don't know if you guys are seeing that, what I'm doing. So now we're going to just massage it with the cream because my cream base is quite oily anyhow. Use some oil as well because that helps blend it nicely. That way, that way. And what I've also done is I've strengthened this little area here. I might, so I'm quite happy with the way it looks here, but not so much that side. So I might try and see if I can still use some of this just to fix. That's not going to work. Okay. We'll have to make up another pot. That's fine. We can do that. So just to show you how I do it. Let's clean this all out nicely. As best as you can anyways. A little blob, probably not that much, don't want to waste the product. A little bit of oil. Mix the two together. Because we want it to be a nice thick preparation. The oil just makes it a little bit more liquidy and sticky. Oh, it's trying to escape. And if I didn't have to reuse this, what I'd probably do is end up leaving the silicone in there because then it will set and you can just peel it out in one go and it just makes your life so much easier. Paste 
just like consistency. There we are. So it's a bit more tacky. And a few drops of catalyst. better to use it when it's not too set because or too tacky because then you've got more playtime as I call it. So I'm going to grab some more oil and just mould it into position like this. Grab a little bit more out, plonk it on there, and again just mould it. I'd say swap fingers around when you do this. The oil just helps it just blend really nicely. There you are. Let's see how that now looks. So, you can see what once was a broken prop is now pretty mended and lovely. So we can use my funny lights to show you. There we go. So I'm going to let that set on the side here until the patient's ready to collect. Hopefully she'll be pleased with that and hopefully it won't be too thick either because that's always something to consider. Anyway, I'm going to stop touching it. There we go.